Trinidad and Tobago wins a $300 million arbitration settlement against international hotel chain the Hyatt Corporation. The urban development company of Trinidad and Tobago was involved in a three-year legal battle with Hyatt over monies owed to Uticard for leasing lands at the Port of Spain waterfront. The Attorney General, Anand Ram Logan, gave the details in a statement to the Senate earlier today. Karen Cozier Philip has more. Under a hotel management agreement signed in 2005, Uticott agreed to finance and construct a hotel entirely at its own cost. That was then to be managed and operated by Hyatt Corporation for a fee. Attorney General Ram Logan says Hyatt refused to pay Uticott any money in accordance with the terms and conditions of the hotel agreement and sued in February 2011 for alleged breaches of the agreement. Hyatt's main dispute being that Uticott signed its leasehold on the land to the Port of Spain Waterfront Development Company Limited and not Uticott. The government through Uticott, having solely financed and constructed the Hyatt Hotel and having entered into a hotel management agreement with the Hyatt in exchange for a fee, since 2008, Hyatt has never paid that management fee to Uticott. The government of Trinidad and Tobago in December 2011 counterclaimed and initiated its own arbitration proceedings against Hyatt. Mr. Ram Logan says the government argued that the Port of Spain Waterfront Development Company was in fact a subsidiary of Uticott. The Attorney General says the two parties agreed to initiate discussions and have arrived at a settlement. In accordance with the terms of that settlement agreement, Hyatt has agreed to pay Uticott the sum of Trinidad and Tobago, $334 million. $185,703.99. That is $334 million into the coffers of, the, of, of Uticott. The Attorney General says the settlement will enable Uticott to complete much-needed public infrastructure projects for the benefit of the people of this country. He says Uticott has in fact confirmed receipt of the monies awarded them. Karen Cozier, Philip, Senior.